We are going to find the value of m so that this differential equation will satisfy these two conditions. So let's just go ahead and solve this differential equation. And you know m is a constant. When we solve this differential equation, there's also another plus c. It's another constant. Therefore, we must have two conditions in order to solve for these two unknowns, right? OK, notice that we have this. m is just a constant. And you see we have the 0 0.0135a. This is separable because I can just take the entire right-hand side, divide both on both sides, and then separate the variable, right? So now let's go ahead and solve that right here. Let me put it down. We will have 1 over 0 0.0135a minus m dA, and this will be, let's multiply dt on both sides. So we have this. From here, we can just go ahead, integrate, integrate, and we will be able to see that this right here, it's going to give us ln absolute value of 0.0135a minus m, because this is just linear. However, the derivative of this, 0.0135a minus m, it's 0.0135. When we do the integral, be sure you divide it by that derivative. So that's multiplied by 1 over 0.0135, right? Same thing as dividing by this. OK, that's the integral of that. And on the right-hand side, we'll just get t. And here we go, plus c1. And now let's multiply both sides by this. So you will see we'll have ln absolute value of 0.0135a minus m, which is going to be 0.0135t. And when we do this times that, c1 is a constant. This is, of course, just a constant. So we can say that's c2. Next, let's go ahead and do e to this power, e to the power, so that this will cancel. And you see, this is going to be absolute value for now, right? 0.0135a minus m. All right, on the right-hand side, e to this is the function part. So let me just maintain that right here, e to the 0.0135t. And we multiply by e to the c2. But C2 is a constant, it's also another constant, so we can just label that as C3. All right, so this is what we have, right? And next, I will have to get rid of the absolute value. Let's just go ahead and do that, but put a plus minus on the right-hand side. C3 is a constant, plus C3 is a constant, negative 3 is also a constant. We label that as C4. In the meantime, let me just also add the M on both sides. So we will have 0.0135A equals to M on the other side now, and I will just label this as C4, so plus C4 equal, well, it's not equal, it's E to the 0.0135t, like this. At the very end, of course, you can just go ahead and divide by 0.0135 throughout, right? So let me just go ahead and do that, 0.0135, so that they cancel. Let's divide the M by 0.0135, and let's also divide this term by 0.0135. And here's the reason why I want to show you guys the work. On the left-hand side, we just get A, and this is going to be, which is, m is a constant that we don't know, right? So I had to state that as m over this, 0 0.0135. But then, c4 is a constant. c4 over this, it's another constant. So I'll just label that as c5. These two together, I can label that as c5. But m over this, I have to make it stay like that. And we still have e to the 0.0135t. And here we have it. This is pretty much a of t. And now we are going to use these two conditions to help us solve this differential equation. And I'll do this in blue. When we know a of 0 is equal to 4300, this means this is the value for a of t, right? The a, the amount. And we have to plug in 0 into this t. And I will just put this down right here for you guys. We have m over that. So this is equal to m over that, m over 0 0.0135. And then plus c5. And since this is the c I'm going to use, so I'm going to just label that c instead of c5. c. c times e to the 0 0.0135. And the t value is 0. And next, we will have another condition, which is a of 18, which is going to be 0. But in this case, I will plug in 18 into this t. So you see this is m over 0 0.0135 plus c times e to the 0 0.0135 times 18. 
like this. And here you see that these two are the system of equations that we can have. For the top one here, we can just go ahead and solve for c because this is e to the zero's power, right? So this is just c by itself. So you can see from here, let me just label uh, this one here with a star. From the first one, let me isolate the c for you. c is equal to, let me move this to the other side. So we have 4300 minus that, which is m over 0 0.0135. That's what c is. Well, now I can just plug in this into this in the second equation, and you'll see that we can combine the equations. And the reason I want to solve for c is because I'm interested in m for this question. So you will see this is 0 equals to this, which is m over 0 0.0135. And then we add it with, for the c, it's all that. So I multiply by 4300 minus m over 0 0.0135. And then multiply by e to this, right, 0 0.0135 times 18, like this. And now, uh, the rest is just you do a bunch of things on the calculator, and we just do it on the calculator. <laughs> so, a few things I'm going to do. First, right here, this is just 0, so that's just okay. But this is 1m over that, right? So let me just do 1 over this on the calculator for you guys. So when we do that, 1 over 0 0.0135, this part is going to give us 74.074m. And let's keep three decimal places. Okay, this right here, as you guys all know, is just a number, right? So we can just punch this onto the calculator. In the meantime, we'll distribute this, okay? So I am doing 4300, 4300 times that, which is e to the 0 0.0135 and we multiply by 18 like this right that's the second line that I'm looking at so when we do this times that we get 5482.795 and then we have a minus and I want to do 1 over 0 0.0135 times that so let's do that 1 over 0 0.0135 times that, which is e to the 0 0.0135 times 18, like all that, and which you will get 94.450 if you run, okay? And then you still have the M term right here. So this is what I have. Okay, as you can see, this is just a linear equation, right? So of course you combine these two together and of course do that on the calculator. In the meantime, move this to the other side. So uh, just do that so you have negative 5482.795 equals to these two together. I'll maintain on the right hand side. So 74.074 minus 94.450 you get negative 20.376 m, like this. All right, at the end, it needs no introduction. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by this. I will show you guys a step because this is the good old days, right? Uh, the algebra days, it's the fun days. m equals to this over that, so I'll put that on the calculator real quick. Negative 5482.795 divided by negative 20.376. 376 and you get 269.81 0 0.081 so m equals to 269.081 this is the value of m and if you also want to find c of course put this right here and work on the computation but m is all we need that's it